Good evening. This is the Home Service. Who's Jarvis? Well, over his cocker. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to another edition of the Home Service Live with me, Solo, Chris Lethal Coils, Little Bro Vapes, Aiden, Steve, BFG. Good evening. It's a Thursday. All of a sudden, Thursday has so got around very, very quickly this week for some reason. Hope you're all well. Hope everyone's fine and dandy. Good evening to chat. Hello to you guys. I won't let Chris say it hello to you personally, but little bro, how you feeling, kidder? Absolute poo, mate. If I'm honest with you, I feel absolute crap. Uh, but um, like I said, father-in-law's putting a television up for the kids, so there's going to be loads of drilling and stuff. And I thought, what better way to come and spend my brother's anniversary, which I want to say happy anniversary to my wonderful brother and sister-in-law Jan. Happy anniversary to both of you. 21 years. Happy 21 years I as well. Know. Uh, congratulations to both of you and a big love, bro. Yeah, big love to my wife. Uh, yeah, 21 years we've been married. She's had to put up with me for 21 years, bless her. Wrote on cervix. <laughs> what? The Scrote Ohm Cervix. Thank you, Dean. I almost... Oh. Uh, Scrote Ohm Cervix. Thanks, Dean. Dean. <laughs> Cheers, Dean. Love you. That's why you should be on the show, Dean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, as we always do it, Chris, come on, say hello to chat for us. Hello, chat. Okay, I just did it. Uh, <laughs> come on, you're the only one that can read, so come on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, in that case, BFG Hodson, what's going on? Chris Doyle, Tiberius Jacks, JP Vape Reviews, Orion's Braces, Puffing Billy, Tim Baker, how we doing, Manic Stereo, Bill Richards, Dean the Devil Vapor, up the bum. We've got who else? Da -da -da, Corsham oh, Heaton, Tim, Papa Lazarou, Papa we, Lazarou. Uh, Grumpy Old Vapors in the house. Joe's Ghost in a Car. How are you? Rachel Unformed, Ruby, UK, Andy, and Stuart. What's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Well, I've got a couple of topics. Well, I've got one topic that I want to uh, approach, especially two of the casters in tonight's chat. Especially but without... what's your buffet, though? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Rush, don't rush. Okay. Oh, boost, I want to talk then to we've got BFG. Rush, BFG has got some actual news. And the other two, they're going to wing it as per normal. <laughs> so, Aiden, it's been a fortnight since I've seen you. What so, are I... you vaping on? If I'm totally honest with you, for the last... Since last Wednesday, obviously, the, I didn't do the show this week, uh, yesterday, is I've just had the Alexa and the, um, yes, the other pod, the um, the one that I normally use, I've just had that one, I've had one Yes, um, mainly vaping on this, yeah, what the I usually kilo, vape on. The kilo, I've just been mainly vaping on them two pod systems, I've just been absolutely feeling crap, but I've also got to the Banshee, which I was given to by Mr. Coyle himself. And I've got the uh, Falcon King on there. I love this little mechanism. He's got a little button in it. goes... Boom. <laughs> do that again. Do that again. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's the new uh, fidget spinner, isn't it? It is. Honestly, that's what you do. You sit here all the time. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about. The fix, the actual um, mouthpiece as well, because on the, on the Falcon itself, you can drop out. Uh, but yeah, quite loving this. Um, decent flavour. Yeah. In that, I've got some uh, Vape Star um, Red Laces. It I tastes like that. Red Laces. It's not my bag light, but it tastes like Red Laces. Um, then I've got the new Orof. You know, the. Um, the Off. Orof Mesh. Ooh. Which has just been released, which is really, really nice. Uh, and in that, I have got some Lai Chi Ice. The Panther series. Um, like normal, or off, they must get the t-shirts from um, China because they sent me a, a 3XL and it's just like a, an L. 
They were like a body chopper, but I got an axe as well, and they sent me a couple of them, and some mesh coils as well, which is pretty good. This has got some corky flavour. Is it a decent t-shirt? I don't. Is it a nice t-shirt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And to be honest with you, you'd probably bury you at minute with, with the amount of weight you keep losing. You'd probably be able to live in it. You lost eight stone in a day. In a day. <laughs> <laughs> Then I have got the um, Vapemon, the Gearbox, and I've got the Rapture on top of that, which is released today, people. Um, yeah, the Rapture on that, which has which got some um, sea, what is it, sea grass in it. Oh, yeah. For an actual wick, which is pretty good. Mm. Mm. See, the thing is, though, I don't, I, I tried to Google sea grass. Well, now you can get Yankee, something? believe it or not, you can get Yankee candles in seagrass, so that yep. must be a flavour. Yep. But what the actual seagrass is, I haven't got a clue. I, every time I added it, I kept on the grass of a uh, heartbeat instead. <laughs> Green grass. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I kept getting loads of links to stuff from, from America for CBD and that. Um, right, and then the pal, which you've just got as well, and your bro, just come through. Um, you've already up and done for this one. Um, which is quite nice, pal, too. Thanks, Andy. And in that, I've got some double drip 50 50 um, raspberry sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> sherbet. And I'm going to pass it across to the wonderful BFG. It has been a couple of weeks since I've seen you, brother. You look exactly the fucking same. <laughs> you poor <laughs> devil. Yes, indeed. Oh, God. Right. This evening. Not much, but a bit, little bit. Uh, VK1 Flash. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. With the Fugly on top. Oh, you got Fugly oh, back out. We got the Fugly back out. Nice one. Dual coils. Oh, I'm loving it. In that, I had an interesting week this week. I decided to take a flyer on Monday and went to a new B&M. It's just opened up in Ratford. Uh, nice name on it. It's not smoke. But walked in and said, <clears throat> I did my usual, which was a bit naughty. It was pretend you don't know anything. Yeah. And just said, I want a custard or I want a fruit. And the guy behind the counter was brilliant. Didn't push anything. Just suggest, ask what, you know, sort of price range I was after. And then made some suggestions. But didn't make some suggestions by sort of forcing it. First thing he says is, do you want a taste? Which I thought, yeah, thumbs up, mate. What about the juice? Well, <laughs> it, it ended up, <laughs> I, it, I ended up with this Mr. Cafe Caramel Latte. Oh. This stuff is a coffee lover's crack. It's gorgeous, it's... isn't it? <laughs> a coffee lover's crack. <laughs> Stop it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't mean it... I, <laughs> I, did, I didn't mean it in the sort of devil vapour sense. No. Well, why are you rubbing me up and down? <laughs> we don't have to do that to get free 10 mil. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Are you been talking to Chris? I'll let you know Chris my G. Discount code for uh, Mip Hop Juice. You can uh, put Little Bro in there and you'll get a discount in there. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's lovely. This stuff is uh, milky coffee, really nice hint of toffee behind it. It's gorgeous. In two, we've got the rewrap drag, and on top of that, all <laughs> <Bullseye> now. <laughs> the aroma is a light. Look what you could have won. <laughs> Look what you could have won. Ah. All, all these camps are still in. He's crack and now he's on his bum there. <laughs> He'll be wearing a shell suit next. Yeah. Calm down. Calm, calm down. <laughs> I'll save that for when we visit Chris. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? <laughs> you. <laughs> so, in that, I've got the Nova Vapes banana milk. And finally, I've got my big boy set up. It's the M1 Pro uh, Vaptio. On top of that is the Steam Crave RDFA. Because it's the only... Unfortunately, my uh, Cylon died. So this is the only thing that will take this beast. 
and it's so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not keen on it. That. In that, I've got the banana milk again. So, uh, right, we've done mine. Over to Chris. The M1 that you've got from that, Tio, it, it's, mm. it's a little bit like that um, Minikin V3 that Mark's got. If they didn't, I'm like, it's, it's got a, like a raised lip on it, hasn't it? Yeah. If you didn't have that and it went nice and flat, it'd fit lovely and perfect, nice big yeah. um, atties on it. But it's a little bit the same as Mark's uh, V3, isn't it? Mm. If they didn't have a little cut out, you could fit all sorts on it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, my I don't have OCD. Unlike your brother, bless him. Yes. So <laughs> I kind of do, a toss yeah. Off the edge. <laughs> right, Chris, what's what's your buffet this evening, darling? British tea. Oh, British tea, yes. <laughs> lovely. The of still there today. Um, well, first up, we've got the Enforcer with the BTFC, which has uh, recently come to my attention that has sustained a little exterior damage. Wait a minute, how you done that? I do not know. I probably knocked it over on something. Because I do that. Kind of a lot. That is serious. Uh, that's a serious knockover. The camera makes it look worse than it is. Jesus. That's why yeah. I look as I do. <laughs> that is a serious knock. It's exterior only. How did you pull that off? Probably landed on another Mac. Hobo. No. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> be so rough handling my rods. Uh, we got the overpowered 21700 stack with no exterior damage and the Twisted Messes TM24 Pro there. That looks like a button. It is a button. It looks like something that should be handed over at some sort of race thing. Cops should be carrying these. Who? The police. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, the cocks. <laughs> we got the uh, Rig V3 with the 24mm Kennedy on top there. Nice. And we've got the, of course, topside dual in silver with the drop dead RDA on top there as well. And then finally, that one. Dot mod. Are you getting on with it? 300. Oh, I love it. I really do. Um, it performs great. Batteries last a while, or the battery lasts a while. Um, the only thing I don't like is that curve for the mm. ramp up. It's mm. got a slight power curve to it. Oh, shit, Bill Richards. I was not blowing my overpowered, and it dropped on the enforcer. Um. That's what I got. Let's see. We've got some Sad Boy Blueberry Jam Cookie, Sad Boy Strawberry Jam Cookie, Blackberry Jam Monster, and then we've got some Vanilla Tobacco Granola Bar there. And that's what I got. So how about you, Mr. Mark Solom Reviews? Right. Well, f before I go any further, before I go into my... Uh what I'm vaping on. Chris, thoroughly enjoyed last night's show. Absolutely Thanks. brilliant. Really enjoyed it. I just thought that. And I do like your hat as well. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of them. I want a... I contain nicotine. Right, what am I got on? I've got the Helm RDA with the Torrent Mech using... The helmet on the Torrent? Yeah, I've got a helmet on the Torrent. Uh, this is the pastry raspberry danish this was sent on to me by q sig i'm going through that one at the present moment very very nice i do like that one well so i've got sorry that 10 mil zero nicotine 10 mil zero nick yeah drop with the raider mech in that i've got 21 vates this is their blackjack and yeah it's more oh, it's black. Hmm? What is it like? I was going. It was a toss up the other day where I was going to have it all the cherry. This, if you like aniseed balls, oh. that's what it's more like. It's more like aniseed balls than it is blackjack. Have you tried the cherry yet? Not yet, no. Oh, I ain't either. I'm, obviously, we've all got the same sort of stuff because we're at Expo, but I really fancy trying that cherry. Mm. Next up, I have got. I'm vaping on Stan. This is called Stan from Willen. On Stan. Yeah. Not bad little pod system, this one. Uh, I'm quite impressed. What do you mean? Put, I'll tell you what, let's do a test. Put it on top of it, Mark, and throw it. Go like that. 
Oh god, yes. Do what? Put, put, put like Scotch Reviews did? <laughs> like Kieran did? Yeah. And then go that way so you don't hurt it. Just go like that way. No, properly. Properly? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You, like, you, don't, you get nothing but juice in your mouth as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not vaping on that now, so that that's done. <laughs> that's weird. I'm also on. You are. I was talking with it the other day. I were just got your nose, you do, and it just, it just flew out. I've never tried it. I've, I've only been using it for two days. That's good. Yeah, and juice. I was just about to say I've only had it two days, and I am getting juice. Hmm. But the filling system's quite clever. Yeah, it is yeah. I've enjoyed what I've been doing, but now and again I do get juice, I've got to admit. Right, also got on the PAL 2, we've just got the same colour, haven't we? Mm. That's why we're brothers. Yeah, <laughs> go matchy matchy. In oh, that, that's why brothers. I've got Pod Salts Havana <laughs> Gold, and I am really enjoying that. That is really nice for a tobacco, that is really nice. And lastly, but not leastly, oh no, I've got one more. Aiden. Yeah? I love you. I love you more. I love you lots and lots. <laughs> now, when anybody turns around to Aiden and says to him, what would you recommend someone when they're starting out on vaping? And what's your answer, Aiden? I normally say, well, it all depends what you're going to say, but I normally say a Cool Fire 4 with a Nautilus 2 tank. This Ooh. is a Cool Fire Ultra... Internal battery, 400 ma, and on top I've got the slide, slide. mouth along. And I tell you one thing, this is my new recommendation for someone starting up. What a corking kit. So, so what were you, what's it, uh, what did you went vaping at roughly about, what, about 14, 15? 14 watts, e exactly. 14 watts. So what ma battery do you say it is? Uh, 400. So it's a little bit underpowered, isn't it? But with you only going at, at, at 15 watts, you're still going to last you a good day. Obviously, with the Cool Fire 4, you get a little bit more battery life for that. But, yeah, that, that sounds good. This is the Cool Fire Ultra. Yeah, I'm well, honestly, absolutely well chuffed. I'm still 22 mil on top. But, yeah, with this tank as well, what a corking setup. Really it's is nice. It's just only 500, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the normal size of a Cool Fire. So I'm quite impressed, to be honest with you. What, what battery is the cool fire normally at? Isn't it over a, over a thousand? I'm not quite sure. It's more like a two thousand. It's, it's, it, to be honest with you, the cool fire four or five or whatever they're on now, I ain't got a clue. But this is the ultra and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And that slide, absolutely brilliant. What a tank. He's gone off now. So I'm that's that, oh, one more thing. I'm on the uh, uh, Cool Vapor RDA with the uh, VX530, and that's not left my side at all. So. Oh, the poor man's G Class. Hmm. It's brilliant. I Is paid it? I paid forty quid for that at Expo, and I'm not complaining. Two thousand more battery normally Cool Vapor. Yeah, there you go. Right, before we go into uh, anything else. Mark, that's a 4,000 mark, the one you've got. Yeah, 4,000. You said 400. Did you say 400? Yeah, 4,000. Yeah, 4,000. <laughs> yeah, 4, <000. laughs> you, bro. Oh, right, before we go into any further, BFG, you've got some news, haven't you? After that news, I've got a question to ask these two casters and the casters and reviewers in chat. So, oh. go for it, BFG. Right. A <clears throat> couple of interesting bits uh, sort of surfaced today. Mr. Coyne. Mr. Coyne. Eh? Mm. <laughs> I should be so lucky. <laughs> right, so the first thing that caught my eye today was the news that smoking rates in Thailand soar. So despite a tough stance by the government, the number of smokers in Thailand is on the increase. With over, over 70,000 deaths from smoking-related disease each year, the country is in the midst of a lit tobacco crisis, according to the World Health Organization. This despite huge rises in tax, graphic warnings on packets, yada yada. The WHO spokesman says he was saddened by the reports, 
<coughs> the subsequent measures to increase the tax on cigarette purchases and scare uh, prospective smokers by using graphic images and medical conditions um, earned Thailand applause from the world. Just one puff of smoke is enough to expose a person to several hundred toxic chemicals that damage the lungs. Somebody needs to tell the American Lung Association, because there's another bit of news, but I haven't managed to read it all, so I don't want to... Uh... <laughs> you can tell he's getting amped up by this, because his camera is shaking the whole time. It looks like there's an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all! <laughs> Show me your hands! Show me your hands! <laughs> Uh, now, the, the thing that interested me was Thailand banned and criminalized vaping in 2014. Ooh. What did they expect was going to happen? The other thing that sort of raised my eyebrows was this is the World Health Organization who ignored vaping on No Tobacco Day and have actively poo-pooed vaping as a, as a means of uh, quitting smoking. Yeah, totally. So... You know, they've got big fines as well there, uh, and not only that is the obviously everything went sort of like underground. Yeah, uh, but if they catch you with the vapes, that's it. It's jail time. Mm. It is, yeah, uh, big, big, massive fines. Obviously, smoking over there is um, is a massive thing. They make lots of money from it. Well, this is it. I I just find it amazing that they're surprised that there's now now a major increase in smoking. When they're cutting down on the possible alternatives, you know, it's crazy. And moving from the doom and gloom, this one had me chuckling. This did. Now, it's not very often you're going to hear me sort of singing the praises of Jewel, but I've got to admit, what? Jewel, Jewel have some testicles of amazing size. <laughs> oh, you're not kidding. <laughs> so. Picture the scene. Following the complete banner of all things vaping in San Francisco and the persistent attack by the Democrats on uh, vaping and jewels and all the rest of it, he and Kelly, the party's San Francisco director, no less, she lost the plot. She's midway through a speech and the dual sponsorship logo appears on the major screen in front of her. So... <laughs> She turns around and says, what sh committee should I go to to ask this party not to take any money from Jewel who preys on children? What committee do I go to? Please, tell me. So this brought cheers from the crowd. Then the guy, uh, the acting chair turned around and said if she'd like to join any subcommittee that could replace the cash given by Jewel in sponsorship as the party needed it to fight the next election. Thumbs up, Jewel. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it big. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, so, that's me. So, what's these questions you've got for us, boss? Well, it's more um, for these two than anything else. Um, actually, reviewers in chat... Well, obviously, their testicles are more interesting to look at. Oh, he's there. Oh, I was there. Oh. I'm just filling a puddle. Oh, um, what, what are you doing, Chris? I'm just checking to see how gorgeous my testicles are. <laughs> oh, no, are they gorgeous? Or are they I, just gorge? I've never been told that before, but hey. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it's where you're looking at them. <laughs> right. I did slightly mention this on the uh, Tales from the Ohm on Sunday. And basically, if you guys don't know, you will do now. In August, YouTube are changing the way that they are displaying your subscriber counts. What they are doing is rounding them off. So for argument's sake that you've got 1,600, it'll go 1 1.6. But if you've got 1,666, it will still state that you've got 1,600. What do you think to all this? What about under a thousand? Under a thousand, it's not affected. It's up, okay. up to a thousand. So as soon as you hit a thousand, it'll stay at one k until you get to one and a half k. The way okay. I thought it was was if it actually went over. If you just say you had one thousand. I don't know. One thousand eight hundred and fifty-two. Because it was over the fifty-two, they rounded it up. They might do. Yes, I'm not disagreeing with you on that one. Um, so if if it 
the thing about it is it's subs, isn't it? Do you think it's going to make... I don't, I don't think for us that are in the below 10k uh, subscribers, mm. should we say, I don't think it will affect us as much as it will the bigger uh, subscribers, you know, uh, the bigger channels. <sighs> Well, if you've got, if you look at certain things like how Vic and all them are going, it, I don't think it really bother them either, will it? Because they, they're going up by chunks. Dean's going up by chunks, and Chris and and all them. It, rounding it off, it might help him if, <laughs> if he goes to five hundred, one thousand, one thousand, say mm. nine hundred, nine thousand five hundred and two, when you're up to ten thousand. Mm. But it's also going to so sort of like affect things like Social Blade and things like that that we're all addicted to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you won't be able to know. Does this tie in oh, at all? Right, so you won't be able to check what you've got, really. No. Does this tie in at all to the way that they've restructured the monetization thing there? Well, from what I'm understanding from the remonetization bit is because of another um, top YouTuber having some sort of dodgy t shirt. Stephen Crowder. Mm. Yep. So it's something based on him, isn't it? So. <sighs> But by all accounts, this rounding of um, <clears throat> subscribers is to is because they're fed up of one um, people going off YouTube and going on to places like Social Blade. So they want you to keep you on actual YouTube. So you've got the only way that you can see your proper subs is actually on YouTube. I think that's the actual whole, whole plan for behind it. The monetization part of it, I'm not one hundred percent sure because. I don't monetize my video, so I don't know how that yeah. totally works. See, I just, I, I make videos. I don't really understand quite all of the analytics and everything like that about YouTube, to be honest with you. I've never really looked that far into it. Mm. Um, I just kind of make my videos. I put them up and, you know, however many views and subs I get is however many views and subs I get. Mm. Um, as far as what that would mean for my channel after I peaked a, a thousand subscribers, I don't know. I don't know what that would mean. Mm. So it seems like uh, YouTube is definitely uh, doing a lot of things in the background at the present moment. I know they're trying to get everybody now onto the uh, new creator studio, aren't they? Mm. Are you guys both? Are you both using that now? I still use it. You're still use using classic. classic. Well, I do believe. I think it's the end of this month. You won't be able to. It'll be just the straight new, um, the new version of it. Mm. Well, I think it's time to say uh, hello, Vape Tube. Well, obviously, me, me and Mark, we've been there at the beginning for when Vape Tube first ever started. We, we were one of the first ones on there, which a big shout out to them as well. They did a, a throwback Thursday a couple of weeks back, and they stuck one of the first videos I stuck up on there, which they, they want a lot of people doing. Obviously, now it's getting more popular. Mm. A nice set of lads as well. Uh, I know Chris and a lot of people are all behind them. It could be the way forward where you're going to be watching your reviews on 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 YouTube, which is a corking platform. Mm. Um, obviously, like Gailey Bob's been saying, the bitches went to Twitch, um, and they've been going from leaps to bounds on there, um, getting some right views on there. Um, <clears throat> they're only going to shoot themselves in the foot because if you start doing it against vaping, what else are you going to start doing it against? There's other things on there that's terrible. Mm. Oh yeah. Abandoned houses and stuff like that. Are you not going to be able to put that up? What about against bailiffs? What about people like Daniel um, Boxstock, whatever his name is, who just put a, a new video up today, which he hasn't done for a while, which was so nice to see. Um, anything that's going to rub people up the wrong way, they're going to stop everything. I was, well, right I was anyway, reading a thread today I, on, on about YouTube. I was reading a thread today. Um, believe it or not, a guy... Um, he does um, aircraft uh, videos and he also uh, started mentioning about UFOs and things like that and believe it or not YouTube does not like conspiracy theories either what mm -hmm. you know how you get the you get it on te normal television especially if you watch blaze you know aliens and the mysteries well, of aliens and them. Yeah. By all accounts, YouTube doesn't like it because it's a conspiracy theory. So See, they don't well, like it. It was it was one of the biggest things that I watch is that is the conspiracy theory, theories. I was always into like the JFK sort of stuff. Mm. Um, I, and I've always been into like governments doing the wrong sort of thing. 
That's what YouTube was started up for, was a platform for people to put their point of view from. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And it's obviously going a little bit down the lines of, but do you know what people were saying about, um, it's not Alexa, it's the Google version of it, which is, hello Google, whatever you say to it. Mm -hmm. Certain questions that people have asked that, and it, they'll come up with um, some very funny answers. <laughs> Just to feedback uh, about the new story from Thailand, Rapper was, uh, sorry, Rasper was. He's just put, I have a friend who lives in Thailand who vapes, as do many others. The laws are in place, but aren't as cut and dried as you'd think. Most Thai police can be persuaded to ignore for a small fee, <laughs> which is, uh, it sort of reinforces what we thought, but... Uh, and the other thing is, Aiden, you've got nothing to worry about, mate, because your videos are being shown in Stuttgart. So. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty lucky. It was so nice as well, Vic. Big shout out to Vic for recording it for me. Yeah, I was there. Uh, the, which we had, didn't we, when we went to Jambro? It, it was quite good. Um, yeah. yeah pretty lucky. <laughs> it, was, it was the little Scottish voice going, Aiden, Aiden, you're famous. Yeah, famous. <laughs> <laughs> I actually messaged Vic, I messaged Vic, and I was poorly in bed, and like I said, the only thing I've been, the only thing I've been vaping on is the pods. So I was in bed, and I put it on to watch it, and then the the um, pod fell to the floor, and at the point he was just saying about he'd got this footage, and I, I, I leant down to get the pod, and the only thing I heard was Aiden, Aiden, you're famous. I'm not, Jesus Christ, it's the bedroom. <laughs> oh, you wish. I you know my you wish. <laughs> oh, it was absolutely awesome seeing you on there, though. <laughs> you was in Stuttgart. <laughs> Do you know what, bro? I think I think that's uh, something that we might have to uh, have a little save up and look at doing that, is uh, jumping on a plane and going over there. Not via Scotland, though. Not by Scotland, no. <laughs> <laughs> poor old Zan, he, he, I don't know if you saw it on there, Zan he got, obviously he went up there and then Zan dropped um, uh, Chris and them off and that's to drive all the way back again, so he, I think he got in about half four in the morning, Paul. Oh, oh man, Zan, man, bless him. I know. It was really nice what Zan and Gail did, though. We was look, they was looking after the uh, wee doggy. <laughs> the wee doggy. <laughs> 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 and this is why you should never attempt Scottish accent when you're not Scottish. <laughs> yes, you should never attempt it. Never attempt it. No, I would never be any good at Mrs. Doubtfire. Sorry? <laughs> Supergram. <laughs> Superman. Oh, come on, how are you going back? <laughs> uh, so, Chris, have you got any news for us? Not really. Uh, <laughs> not really. No, I no, don't no, even. No, no. no. Not since somebody uh, nicked my wardrobe door. Someone <laughs> 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 stole me doors. Uh, well, you was playing your. It was played behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they kick your doors in, Chris? Did they? <laughs> <laughs> Came in like a wrecking ball. They all did it just for a coffee date. <laughs> Big Huggles Gale. What are you doing, my juice ain't in there? You want juice oh. over here? No. So, Chris, did you actually uh, end up playing your game today? Yes, Ladies yes, and gentlemen, yes, as you all yeah. know that Chris does his Twitch uh, gaming, and every time I go yeah. on it, it crashes. Well, yeah. I got the notification again today while I was at work, and I thought, oh, I'll quickly have a look on. As soon as I click on, he's having problems, and it crashed. I'm just saying, is that yeah, a coincidence? No, <laughs> so that's twice now. Mm, that is, that is, you've got to admit, that is a bit freaky, that every time that I go and see you, Play a game. You, oh, you it was crash. Anyways, it was already playing up before you showed up. So, <laughs> yeah, a bit freaky. So, we were thinking about it. No, <laughs> um, I've got something. For you. We did. We did mention this not last this week. Last week on the Sab Show on Sunday um, was. Has anybody seen the on Instagram the one with the dummy? Yes. yes. How bad and how freaky is that? 
I haven't seen it. It's that bit where she goes, "Is I like mummy's milk or something." <laughs> yeah, she's got it round a lot. <laughs> oh, that's just why though. The the, 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 the question I've got is why. Up, yeah, it's a. I know it's a mock up, but why? A, it's in really bad taste, and B, it's just handing more ammo. Isn't it? I think it was done for a Saturday Night Live show, I think, which is obviously just terrible. <laughs> yeah, but it's not funny, is it? No. It's weird. Yeah. Hi, Doug. She's got a high... Gino, high normous. High normous? High normous. High normous, Gino. <laughs> I just don't get it. I, I just genuinely do not get it at all, full stop. It's so like, it's not funny. It's just showing us in a bad light. Um, I know this is probably a little bit um, controversial. We're not going to mention any names or anything like that. Did you see uh, a certain person vape battery acid, apparently? Yeah. No, I ain't seen that one. I saw that. Yeah. No, I ain't now, seen obviously, that one. It didn't actually show somebody put battery acid into the actual uh, dripper itself. But that was the so title. We're not sure. I, I, I'm not sure. Obviously, I can't say that they did it or whether it was actually just a bit of a stunt to get a few more to the channel. But uh, a vapor, um, obviously, again, we're not naming any names, um, apparently vaped a battery acid. How stupid. You can, only ho- you can only hope Darwinism is a thing, can't you? <laughs> Only Let's the clean the pool. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I think Chris Doyle put it into the group. Um, again, obviously, we don't know if, it, if that was actually in it. That's what he said was in it. You never know. It could have been just something to, to, to put, get a few more people onto your channel, but that's just not brilliant not at all, is it? We've got a question from the UK Vapester in the house. How are you doing, kid? Oh, yeah, uh, well, quick question for the casters. Fave? Fave? Pod system. Ooh. Be honest. The what? The kilo. That's my favorite. I don't have enough experience with pod systems to have a favorite, to be honest. Uh, I'd go me pod. I me. like I like the me pod. I got my me one. Uh, me personally, I think the hexa. Hexa's good. Hexa's good. As a pod uh, system, I, I I have got two. I've got the hexa, and I like the. Uh, my pod. Me pod, the, my. The original exit was a little bit funny, obviously, with the connection at the bottom. It used to fit into, like, a little holster, and if you got that wet and stuff like that, it, it'd stop working. Hmm. Uh, but the new one's really good. I've been using that as well as the... Well, that's what I've got there, the exit, which is there. And like I said, I use the Kilo all the time. I like the juices from Kilo, and it's got just the right pull. Hmm. You see, Gailey Bops just says uh, the Orion. Now, me personally, I don't class that as a pod system. I class that as an all-in-one. It's the same like with the PAL. I don't class that as a pod system. I class that as an all-in-one. Ah, now, hold on. If we're going AIOs, uh, is it the JAX that's the AIO from Jack Vapor? J-A-X? Oh, the yeah, the little one, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That's... That is a nice direct mm. along. Mm. The, um, the thing, obviously, about the, with, with this, with the with the PAL, you can actually the same as what you can do with the um, IQ one. That's a good system. You just can't see if you've got any juice in it. Um, you can actually dial in the airflow actually on the coil, which is a, a yeah. Good. Oh, nice. Well, it's same with the Sprite as well from Aspire. That's a nice little yeah. um, mm. kit as well. But it's they're all based off the same as the, the very very similar to these. So like the coils mm. are underneath and the airflow is underneath. Ryan style mm. pod systems. Mm. Did, uh, um, do you mind did if I, I put uh, my link to Twitch in there real quick? No. I'm um, asking man whose channel it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very strange. Um, I noticed uh, Grim Green had reviewed a mod. Um, well, um, a, basically, it's an all-in-one kit, and they was calling that a pod, and that had actually a tank. What? No, what? Not no, over. It's him playing with his lamp. <laughs> Are you? He moved everything around and bent the light. Is that Jessica Rabbit? Uh, yeah. Well, no, it ain't. it's actually Bubblegum Ass. Or it'll go. Oh, okay. Looks like Jessica Rabbit from Thank Roger you, Rabbit. Chris. I'll have a look at that later. <laughs> so, has anybody got any more questions? I always like having questions yeah, in chat. Chats I didn't get an answer from you, Mark. What was that? If I could put my Twitch 
link in there. Yeah, of course you can. Okay. Did you uh, yeah. see the comment from Russ Morgan in chat? Have you seen the guy who smoked Carolina Reaper chili? That's not a bloke. That's a dumbass. That was the a... same guy that did a, a three-part thing there. He was... Oh, what did he do? He vaped it, he snorted it, and he rubbed it above his eyes. What? That's insane. Yeah. Seriously. He was puking. Yeah, he, um, he was, he's an oldish bloke. He's actually quite oldish. So he's probably about two, three years old. He's an oldish bloke. He doesn't even have all of his teeth. He even got all his teeth. Jeez. Yeah, Grumpy, the Anode. That's another good one as well. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, t- I tried Mark's the other night, and that was a corker. Yeah. It you really is. Nice. Pretty surprising because it's smoke. Mm. Chris. See, the problem with it. smoke, they <laughs> can make decent gear. They really can. It's just that they're just bone idle and think, oh no. Ah, these stupid English. We'll just give on to them. <laughs> we made lots of money. <laughs> You're actually talking about um, start systems. You're at the beginning because you've got that, that new one, which is a 4,000 mile battery. <laughs> 4,000, not 400. Yeah, it's all right, bro. We all make the differences in here, um, I was I was on a, a page that, that I go on to quite often, and there were, this lady was saying that she was just coming off the cigarettes and she wants to start vaping, and what people recommended. And I was very surprised by a lot of what people were recommending. Um, there was recommending, now remember she's coming directly off a cigarette, she's not been vaping at all. People were recommending a smock uh, TF8, there was recommending what? a twister kit, you know, with the uh, the Freemax twister. Um, there was recommending all these stuff, which is really, in my mind, is, it might be a starter kit, but it's the next step of both. There's somebody coming directly off the cigarettes. To me, somebody needs that sort of feel of the cigarettes, um, but also doesn't need that direct lung, I'm going to cough my tits up straight away sort of feel. Uh, what do you think? Now, I, I quit on direct to lung. I couldn't do it on mouth to lung. So... How long ago it, was that, though? Oh, that was about two years ago. So, uh, the systems that have come along now, and obviously, you know when you did try to do a mouth to lung, what, what you're on, a pen, a little one of the little cartomizers and a... No, it was a uh, Anakin. Uh, it was on the K box. It was the tank that came with that. How, how many other devices at Mouth Lung did you try? I tried at least three Sigger likes, um, then a pen system. I can't remember what that was, and then I tried the uh, the Anakin, and it just didn't work for me. I just feel that the the, the now you've got to think probably ninety five percent of people. In my eyes, as, as a reviewer, would be better off going mouth to lung than direct to lung because it's going to absolutely choke them to death. What do you think? Matt? Leave it or not, my opinion once upon a time would be totally in agreement with you, Aiden. Totally, totally. But when you start listening to people, I've heard quite a few people that couldn't get on with vaping until they actually found subomin. I was quite surprised. I thought exactly the same as you. Yet, as someone going from a cigarette straight onto uh, vaping, they would something want like a hex or something like that. They mm. want that tight draw, mouth to lung, high nicotine, vape. That's that's how I've always believed it has. Uh, only this last, I would say, last couple of months that I've started noticing that there's quite a lot of people that have quit uh, cigarettes and gone. Fully onto vaping, full blown, but it's due to a subone tank, not a you know, I'm not going on what I've actually seen it. Mm. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm talking the percentage. If I give somebody and went to them, I tell you what, here you go, stick that at 60 watts, you go and use the the, um, the Raptor tank, they'll just cough the tits up. Mm. They're just, so they're not, and then that's a, a lot of the reason. Mm. Or then you can go to the other switch, they get a little tiny pen, them cartomizing, and they're not getting anything. Mm. You, so now you might, like you said, you might get a percentage of people who might be able to go. I think that's the that, that's the beauty, though, isn't it? Nowadays, because there is that much choice. Mm. I mean, well, I mean, there really is a big straight to direct to lung, blowing mm. mass off clouds. I don't know. I, I, obviously, I give a lot of kits away, and I sit with a lot of people and try and turn them uh, to, to, to vaping. Every time I've given anything that, that's like massive, they just cough the boobies up. Mm. 
I didn't start with mouth to lung. I started sub ohming with the uh, Smock Stick V8 kit. Uh, yeah, I mean, between myself and the people that I've helped to get off cigarettes themselves, uh, personally, that I've known, um, not through the internet, but people that I actually know in real life, we all have coughed a little bit our first few times, but then it's like right into the swing of it. Um, but like I said, I did. I started with direct lung. I didn't mouth to lung first. Um, but when I did try my first mouth to lung device, I did cough quite a bit. <laughs> oh, you and you. <laughs> And we've lost him. Totally. Yeah, no, gone. No, I'm back. You're back. You probably swapped your mic again. <laughs> so that's quite interesting, Aiden. I mean, you and me definitely started on mouth to lung when we started vaping. And Chris and Steve started with the direct lung. Yeah. I, I, I so that's already I, that's already fifty fifty in just in this room. When I, yeah. when I went Direct along, I remember phoning you up. Can you remember I phoned you up? I said to you, Look, I'm going to get the Atlantis 2 and I'm going to get the P was it the PV something 2, I think it was. Um, and I phoned you up. Mm. And I was coughing my boobies up. I'm thinking, This is no good. And, I'm, <clears throat> and I phoned you up and I went, Bro, is it? And you went, No, just give a couple of days, you'll be absolutely fine. And, and I've got to admit, I was. A couple of days afterwards, I was fine. But I had been vaping for quite a long time, so I knew what it was about. Mm. Um, I'm just thinking that, that somebody's coming off to, and now you've got to think a, a lot of these devices now, what, which are mouth to lung, but are, you can get them wide open. You can get quite a restricted direct to lung. Hmm. So you see me when when I started vaping, I obviously went straight to uh, mouth to lung straight away. I mean that's basically what was available at the time, but hmm. it wasn't until I really started sub ohming that I really grab the actual um, vape and getting a satisfied vape. Now, a lot of people that end up coughing and things like that when they first start vaping, that's due to the hairs in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. And people are not used to that. And obviously, I don't have a hairy throat. You do. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> but what I was trying to say was something like the Aromamizer, which is a very low wattage, single coil, direct to lung tank, I could see somebody starting on this. Hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a very cool vape. Do you not think something like the Twister, which is absolutely... It's, it's not absolutely big chucking clouds. You're going to be at like 60 watt on that, and it's. I think it's just too much and overwhelming for somebody who's going to be just starting out. I agree. I, I think the higher wattage stuff... No, I, don't, I wouldn't give that to a starter, but something that's a low, low watt, single coil, sub -o, yeah, I'd, I'd give them the choice and see what suits. I mean, oh, there's one thing. The one thing I mean, beautifully about it nowadays is that you've got things like this, which you can do yeah. both, <clears throat> and you get the coils that will do both. You've got this comes with the is it one point five or one point two, and then you've got the zero point six mesh as well. Yeah, yeah, and and that's what I love about the jacks that that are AIO from Jack Vapor. Mm. You've got direct to lung. You've got Mouth to lung coils. The, the, the Vim. Vim. Yes, Sorry, that's, Vim. That's, that's it. it, Vim. Yeah. We, see, me and Mark both did a review for both of them. They come out with the, the Vim small one, and they come out with the, 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 the bigger one. And mm. it's still it. I, and I tell you what, that was my go to. I mm. used to use that all the time. The minute Vapester. I've just seen what Vapester's just put in. My first starter, max wattage, was 40. I think it was even I think it was even less than that when I started. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that's why I got into Max because it's so like you couldn't get the voltage. Oh no, you you got to think that um, was it the um... saying that when we started, you didn't even have wattage mode. It was all voltage, Vol variable voltage. Oh, that, that's what I was, I was thinking about with the with the was it the Inakin Summit box, the eye clear box or something like that. Oh, well, I taste. Yeah, I taste, wasn't it? What was that one that you had where you could charge your, your phone no, with? That really yeah. Like mm. a box one, it was mm. an I taste. I think that were a 20 watts, wasn't it? Something definitely like yeah. that. Well, I couldn't do 20 watts all day. You See, could, yeah, it depends on what your build is. That paper was good as well. Mm. At 20 watts, you've just got to make your coil 
suit that bill, don't you? If that's oh, all you had. Bills. Bill thought it was a big deal when he got the Vamo 3, which was 15 watts. <laughs> Blimey. Then he was in time. Do it as well, bro. Sorry? The juice, what you start off on. The juice I started off on was a, t- a generic tobacco at the, pre- at now, the what time. What I meant was, is, you know, people direct to lung and mouth to lung. Do you think it's maybe the juice as well, what they, they, they pick up? It can be, yes. Mm. I mean, blimey, there's, there's nothing worse than trying to find a juice when you first start vaping. It really is hard. Seasoned vapors, as all us are, it's a lot easier because we know roughly what to expect and what we're going to get from a vape. But when you're first starting out there, there's that many juices to try and you don't know whether what you should be taking what what you should be trying then there's the ratio aspect of it as well do i got how what's how much vg how much pg because when i first started everything was high pg it was sort of like 70 pg most of it in fact if some of them were 80 i think the um sue juice that i used to buy 50 mil uh, in a bottle and i think that was 80 pg at the time and that was 32 nick as well Mm. So it lost you a long time as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it used to last me a nearly a month, 50 mils. Here's, it here's a question then, to the rest of you. What sort of flavours would you suggest to a uh, starting vapour? The trouble with that is is it's very, very hard because everybody's taste mm. is subjective. Mm. Yeah. So I, I, I personally used to like the Spearman, which was a Mako Yatsu Bolt. Which I've just found as well. There's one. There's a company starting to sell it, Mark. So really? Oh, you've that. got to get some. I've got to get some of that. In fact, I'm going to redo a review of it as well. Um, oh, but, excellent. <clears throat> but the um, it's very hard because you, you, I don't like tobacco awesome. unless they're in pods. <laughs> I like tobacco flavour if it's in pods, but I don't like it if it's just a normal juice. Ask your brother yeah, yeah. whether I like tobaccos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard one. I. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, certainly did. <laughs> and, I'll, and trust me, I'll be enjoying my wife later on. <laughs> oh, no, <that's> not... <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Getting back to what I was going to say. I have found that a lot of new vapors or people transitioning to vaping don't want a tobacco Mm. because they want to move as far away as possible from cigarettes. That's what my idea was too. Mm. So normally people go for is fruits. Yeah, I went went for a peach first as well. I bet you did. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Watch for the pits. <laughs> when I first started, I put my into one ginormous <laughs> peach. <laughs> if you're not into Red Dwarf, I love Red Dwarf. No. <laughs> See, when I started, I started with I, I like mangoes, I like peaches, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get those. I love. You know. And it would when he fit until my taste buds got back. Yeah. And then I suddenly found this stuff was bloody awful. Yeah, and then, then it was custards and cream. Oh, that's got into my mouth. It comes back as well, doesn't it? Like, oh, shit, I've been eating that. Custards and creams and fruits, oh my. Custards and creams and fruits, oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that sounds like a really swinging gay club, doesn't it? Custard, custard, oh, you don't remember cream, that? From oh, like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. What does it sound like? Hmm? Mm? <laughs> Strawberry <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> that sounded like a really swinging game club, yes. <laughs> Custard that was close. fruits and creams. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! I've actually gigged a number of gay clubs, and I tell you what, I've had such a good time. Oh, that's true. I tell you what, my father-in-law's here now. If if he, if he were good on camera, I'd have brought him in. We went to one in Scarborough, right? And obviously, we used to gig, well, have a couple of drinks. And then at the end of it, they, they had like a disco. And the first time we went there, we were all right. But the second time, it were absolutely kicking. It were brilliant. 
He's, he's, he's got to go, Aiden. He's dragging me off the stage. I'm doing YMCA. I'm doing all dance moves and what I had a right now. Oh, we used to when we were students. We used to go. There was a place in uh, Middlesbrough, Mr Z's, and it was hilarious because we all knew what it was. But we took this one guy from Newcastle who was on the course, Biffa. The nickname says it all. He he was Biffa Bacon. I'm telling you. And we got him absolutely trolled, and then took him up to the nightclub. And it took him about 20 minutes to work out. And as his eyes got accustomed to the dark, there was obviously people having it quiet sort of snug in the corner and to watch his eyes go from drunk to sober very quickly to oh my god <laughs> I mean, we had to get him out there quick before he started a riot but it was one of the funniest things we ever did <laughs> I've, I've had some corky times being gay clubs it's normally a right good laugh I've, I've, I've been to plenty of well, music just... tracks aren't the only things he's swinging <laughs> is it uh, flying handbag up in Blackpool that does the uh, drag. I've been to a couple of times. <laughs> I've got loads of mates. <clears throat> I've got loads of mates uh, who are into that sort of scene, and it's, I've, I've had some right good giggles. Drag comedians. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, you, it's very rare that you get any trouble at all, and everybody's in a right good mood, and every, you're all having a good giggle. It doesn't matter what, what's going off. It's, uh, it's not a good off. damn night out. Bless up, Chris? I'm good. <laughs> right, no, Chris. Good. Chris, I've got to ask you because we're coming up to that time. What's oh, the? Yeah, no, it soon soon shoots around. It certainly does. So, what's happening the next week or so? What's coming up for review? Oh, well, depending on how life goes, if I can find the time and motivation to actually do anything, uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on here at home um, that's been mentally obstructing my ability to, to perform on camera. Oh, wait, um, that was not the right choice of words. Oh, that's another channel, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, it's amazing what you can get on Twitch these days, isn't it? <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole other platform entirely. Uh, <laughs> so do you need a fluffer or something? Yeah. I think so. I need money. No. Uh, there, have been some, there have been some stressful things going on with um, family Stuck members. Uh, not not stunt double. Uh, what's that? A stunt double. Yeah, get a stunt double to step in for me. <laughs> um, but hopefully I'll be able to get out a couple more juice reviews. I still have the BTFC and the Twisted Message TM24 Pro I want to get done. Uh, unfortunately, right now I have a lot more pressing issues here at the house, yeah. so I haven't been able to actually sit down and, and do too much. But that's what I've got hopefully up this week. Um, no guest planned as of yet for next Wednesday's show, but we're I'm working on that. Um, but that's about it for me. BFG, what's coming up on the Tales from the Home? Tales from the Home, yes. Vape safety. Mm -hmm. A little run through for the new vapor. Um, I think we'll be discussing that on Sunday. Um, if you missed it last week, we had an absolute cork. I mean, it was such a giggle. The time just goes so quick. It's unbelievable. Mm. Um, last week was the remakes. So we carried on effectively the conversation that we started here like the week before. Basically. Um, just mentioning Twitch quickly. Did anybody catch the video of uh, one of the RuneScape players who forgot to turn off his camera? No. What other one, sorry? RuneScape? Uh, RuneScape, yeah. One of his his young lady joined him and things got a little heated and he'd forgotten to turn off the camera. No, no. <laughs> I don't subscribe account went up. <laughs> I think lots of things did from noises. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was awesome. Coitus on camera. Oh, my God. Well, it, it, it was... Luckily hidden slightly by the clothes that he piled in his bedroom. Oh, he's two fucking pairs of legs up the bed. Yep. That's kind of a bit BFG. You spent a lot of time studying this, brother. Uh, I wouldn't say studying, just more a sort of slightly intrigued interest. And <laughs> Harry, I am not anything like Floki from Vikings. Ooh. There you go. So, Aidan, I know you've been very, very poorly this last couple of weeks. So, 
Are we? Uh, we'll just see what happens. Mine's, I've, I've got there's, there's loads in. Uh, it's just how, how it all works and when it gets out. Um, I'm very surprised I've got through this, to be honest with you. But it's been a right good laugh. Thank you very much for cheering me up. Hopefully, over the next couple of days, there'll be reviews out. Back on Wednesday with my show on Little Bro Babes. The, well, our show uh, with Mr. Coyley and the wonderful Salford. Um, that'll be on on Wednesday. All back to normal. So, thanks, Ryan. Big, big love. But, yeah, there's plenty out. There's, there's loads to do. There's a lot of upper closes that I've already done. So, it's just actually putting it all together. Um, so, it should be pretty easy. Excellent. Well, I've got coming up next oh, week. Say, bro, as well. Ooh. You've smashed it this week. Three reviews up as well. Yeah. Well done, bro. Nice mm. to see it. You've absolutely smashed it. Uh, it nearly never came out last night, I tell you. Oh, it nearly you didn't. Oh. Camera off or BFG be watching. oh, man. That fire. I forgot. Last night, this is great. The night before, um, I'd done my review, not turned my camera off. I thought I'd turned my camera off. I hadn't. So when I come to record, flat battery. So I had to record on this one and I was um, having sync problems and all sorts. The audio was out. and oh. So last night's review nearly didn't get out. So, But I managed to hold it together and, and get it out. So, yeah. Next week, I've got... Um, Can I just, just interrupt you? Sorry, I'm sh- so sorry, bro. Yes, we have got an absolute fantastic guest next week. We have got the one and only. And I've been wanting to be able to get her on any show that I've been on for ages. We have got the Gailey Bops on next week. Next Wednesday, Gailey Bops. Awesome. Bop- Oh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So please make sure you tune in next week. I am so looking forward to this. Sorry, bro. It's all right. Right. Anything else? No. You sure? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Can I, can I, can I, can I say something now? If, have, you, have you finished yet? No, be easy on him. He's <laughs> <you're> brilliant. <laughs> oh, by the way. <laughs> Run up. <laughs> Next week, I have oh, yeah. got a... Um, just... <laughs> <laughs> this is like a scene off of it last summer vapes, because I mean, it used to get down to my bit. Him and... <laughs> I didn't used to do it all the time ago. You are right, Dave? <laughs> Dave? <laughs> That's you, Bill Richards. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you okay, Hello. Uh, well, next week I've got some reviews coming up. <laughs> Don't care what you say. <laughs> got some reviews coming up that you'll probably watch or you may not watch, but I've got some reviews coming up next week. Don't forget, on Sunday we'll be doing Tales from the Home uh, podcast. So checking in on that one. You can check that one out on SoundCloud, Google Play, Spotify, Apple Pod, and all the other anchor. <laughs> Google, Anchor, FM, mm. uh, Player. So all the major pod right. places. But you can also catch it on this. Um, what I've been doing is putting it up on the actual channel just so you can listen to it. But the main actual uh, sites are obviously SoundCloud that we use. So, yeah, that'll be up on Sunday. And then, obviously, next week it's back to normal reviews as per normal. So, uh, and then Thursday back here. So, Chris... BFG, little bro, thank you so much for an absolute cool little hour. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been absolutely awesome. Chat, no, you've no. been absolutely brilliant. If you haven't gone and subbed to these guys, please go over and sub now. It would be absolutely awesome. Show your support. <laughs> Name a tag, Mark. Name a tag. He's got a big black hammer. German. German. <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> the most funniest thing if you've not seen it get it on such I think it's on my channel somewhere. We were sat here one afternoon we'd like a, we'd been out for Sunday dinner and stuff, we come back, so look we'll do an hour show and we did like a weird association game with these. So we we did all the vaping sort of stuff and I went right tank and we went German <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just going to give you all guys a little exclusive. Um, on a Sunday afternoon, probably around about 2 o'clock-ish time, Tells from the Own will be doing a live uh, version. So uh, just thought I'd let you know all that one. See, even that BFG didn't it. know, and he's on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm going to have to get dressed. Yes. So you can't wear your skitties anymore. <laughs> Normally... I'm going to wear my tutu. Oh, why? 
because it goes really nicely with my pit boots. <laughs> yeah, pit <bit> boots. <laughs> <laughs> right, Aidan, you pass it over, say your goodbyes, and then pass it on. Thank you very much to everybody in chat. You make the show. Thank you very much to everybody who's joined us, all the spanners, and thank you very much to all the panel. Hopefully, we'll see you next week. We'll pass it over to the one for BFG. Blimey. <laughs> there we are. Chat, you've been wonderful. We won't have a show without you. Spanners, thank you, as always. Absolutely banging job. Uh, and over to Chris. Guys, thank you very much. What else can I say that hasn't already been said other than, Aiden, please do get well, bro. Thank get you. well soon. Uh, and guys, also, well done to you as well, because I know you've got a lot of stuff good off in your house and stuff, mm. but you have been smashing them reviews, brother. Big love to you for doing that. Thank you very much, my friend. I do appreciate that. Uh, EFG, so long. Thank you guys so much for having me yet again to be one of the co-hosts here. Um, it's been great chat and to all the spanners. Thank you guys very much. Uh, and that's that's about it for me, Mr. Solon. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, there's one more part, isn't there? There's always that oh, part. Oh. There is another part. Guys, please do remember that we're the masters of our own destinies. We're the only ones in this world that can pick and choose how positive or negative our days will ever be. So please keep that positivity high. Keep the smile on your faces and let that negative just brush off your shoulders. Ta-da! Right. Thanks ever so much for watching, everyone. <laughs> we so, so appreciate it. Uh, there was just a comment in chat just below. Probably we'll start doing that next week, maybe. Just that a little bit longer into the... Uh, past eight o'clock but this evening it is my anniversary and i need to spend some time with my oh, beautiful wife. Wife. <laughs> oh there he goes robot again he's going robot so i'm going to say thank you to little bro vapes steve bfg chris lethal coils you guys are absolutely awesome and you really do make this show chat and the spanners thank you so much and we will all see you next week same channel same time bye Citra, bye, we love. Oh, wrong oh, one. You meant bye. Ah, bye. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> second ball. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> well, what's what's Jerry, Jerry, Jerry? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, some facts burnt his club down. That was a cigar butt.